Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is AVJ and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a bit of a, a food overhaul or food haul, I should say, <laughs> uh, from my favorite store, Aldi's. Um, I just wanted to show how you can actually eat pretty clean and pretty healthy uh, on, a, on a ketogenic diet or any other kind of diet for that matter uh, on a budget. It's possible. It's definitely possible. I'm going to show you everything that I got and how I was able to save a, a good amount of money. No coupons or anything like that. Just shopping at a good store and getting the best deals that they have and uh, be able to save quite a lot. I got actually got about a week's worth of stuff for around $75 for, you know, just myself. When I show you the receipt from all these, you'll see a little bit of extra stuff because my family needed a few other things um, to go with their food. So I added uh, a couple more things dealing with them, which got it up to about uh, a little over $100. But for me, just myself, uh, for the whole entire week, $75 and that's not bad at all and it's all clean it's all healthy as you saw from the thumbnail but uh without further ado I'm going to go ahead and go into the kitchen and start showing you everything that I got okay starting up front I'm going to be starting with my most my favorite section of the <laughs> of this whole entire table and that's the meats and uh right here we have a ribeye steak and yes you heard that correctly they actually have a ribeye steak <laughs> over here we have a giant pack of drumsticks and as you can see right there, only $5.63, really good deal. Here we have a, a pack of organic ground beef. I get this quite a lot. I usually get this pretty much once or twice a week. Um, I like to make a, a keto taco salad with this or just have like um, bunless burgers or something like that. Over here, we have a pack of uh, thick slice uh, pork chops. This was actually a weekly fresh meat special and it was only three dollars and 65 cents so that's really good uh next to that we have three uh packets of sardines which is kind of funny because of uh, me being on a ketogenic diet i never in a million years thought i would be eating sardines but ever since i've been on this diet i've been having them i like to have this uh mixed with like a salad or something like that and i'm eating them so <laughs> Good, I guess that's a good thing because uh, sardines are very, very healthy. They're pretty much considered like a superfood. Over here, we have a pack of uh, bacon bites that I usually like, or bacon bits that I like to add into my salad. There's another pack over here. Uh, right behind it is the organic butter. I get this to add into my bulletproof coffee. Next to that is a pack of, so a brick of white cheddar cheese, really cheap. This is a really good quality cheese and is around like two something for this. Um, usually it's around like four or five dollars or something like that in another store Here we have some asparagus some fresh asparagus. I like to steam that next to that is um, What is this uh, the hot Italian sausage links? I may make like um, You know just just make like like just regular hot sausages, you know, just using the sausage links or make make like a, a keto friendly sausage uh, Parmesan type of thing or something like that and over here, we have the Wild Wonders tomatoes. It's a, a mixture of different types of cherry tomatoes. I put a few of those in my salads. Now, this is a bit of a questionable <laughs> uh, thing to get, but it's, you know, somewhat that are like a, like a keto treat. It, it's not recommended to be having something like this all the time, but it's good to just treat yourself uh, once in a blue moon. This is a carb conscious elevation bar. The macros in this, if you don't know, is really, really good. As you can see, it has 17 grams of carbs, but you have to minus away the five grams of fiber and the, what is that? Uh, 10 grams of sugar alcohol. So that's 15, waste, 15 minus the 17. So it's only two grams of net carbs, for this, which is really, really good for keto. Uh, behind this is frozen vegetables. I usually don't get frozen vegetables a lot, but I saw this and it looked really, really good. I, I wanted to try it out. It's a uh, Prince Edward medley, which uh, has like, um, what is it? Green beans, wax beans, and carrots. Carrots are not really good for keto, but it's a small amount in here, so it's not gonna be a big deal. Uh, right here in this bag would be a few cucumbers, really cheap. This was like 39 cents for each one. Right here is a bottle of red wine vinegar. I always use this for my salad dressing, mixed with uh, uh, olive oil and a bunch of other seasonings like oregano or something like that. Over here is a box of spring mix. Uh, that's always like, uh, I use this for as like a base of my salads. Back here are some uh, peppers. These uh, snackable, snack sized peppers and something like that. You can either have them as a snack or uh, what I do is I cut them up and add them to the salads. And back here, we have two things of celery. I always have celery in here. Right here we have 
green onions, but that I usually put in my salads. And also I might mix it into the ground beef, whatever I'm making the uh, keto uh, uh, taco salad. Back here is some fresh green beans. And back here, what I also added to my salads is chopped kale. So, yep, this, oh, but skipped over the coffee. <laughs> We have a box of decaf, which is what I use for my bulletproof coffee later in the day. And on the bottom one is the regular uh, caffeinated one, which uh, my wife and I always have uh, every morning. I, I have a black one. She has her cream, sugar, stuff like that. But um, yeah, so this is pretty much it. You know, for all of this, including all of these meats here, it was only $75. Talking one, two, three, four, five meats. And this here is about two to three days worth of meat right here. You know, so that's that's a really good deal. And this right here is, is also a split into uh, two days worth of meat that I can have um, individually, you know, the, to have like a dealing with like a nice size salad, which is where all of this back here comes into play and to get, uh, keeping you healthy, keeping you full, getting all of your, your, your macronutrients, your micronutrients, getting everything that your body needs to stay on a keto diet, to stay healthy, to stay full, to stay satiated. This right here. I'm telling you, if, if you're if you on the fence about doing a keto diet because you think it's going to be expensive, find a store like all these if you have one in your area. I hope you do. Because I'm telling you, it is definitely, definitely, definitely possible. All right, so here we go. I do not know how I forgot to include one of the most important foods on a ketogenic diet, and that's the avocados that I bought as well. Yeah, I totally forgot to add this in uh, onto the uh, table and into the, the previous clip. But uh, yep, these are, what is it? I think it's about five or six avocados. I kid you not, they're only 89 cents each. Yeah. $75 does sound like a lot, you know, and for, for some people, but for one person and, you know, trying to eat healthy and stuff, that's actually not that bad. It comes out to about maybe a few hundred dollars a month. I've heard of somebody who is doing like a vegan diet or something and he's spending around $900 a month. That's like three times the amount that I'm spending. So there's that. You know, but um, uh, of course, I mean, I, I would love to be able to have grass fed this, grass fed that, organic this, organic that. I'm not rich. All right, I ain't doing all that stuff. I'm gonna get what I can get on th the budget that I got. That's what I recommend for you. You know, just do what you can. You know, you know, it's not recommended to, I mean, it is recommended to oh, like get like organic and all that other kind of stuff, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, you you you, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. You know, so it is what it is. It's just as long as you're not getting like like really, really bad stuff. And of course, what's what's better? I mean, you get a pack of ground beef or you're getting a, a McDonald's cheeseburger. You know, you get a pack of ground beef, which is like the, the cheapest one you can possibly find versus getting a McDonald's cheeseburger. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, it makes sense to like, you know, just do what you gotta do. I mean, it, it, it's, it's better than nothing. Pretty much what I'm trying to say. It's better than nothing. It's better than the worst stuff that you can get. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you have any comments, if you have any questions or anything, or um, you're curious about something or whatever, you know, please leave a comment down in the comment section and I'll take a look at it and respond. And uh, if you like this video, please like it, please share it. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. My name is AVJ. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.